How about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, he turns you offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that you just saw which can help them get back and that play shows you really what this defense is about. It's a difficult one. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And how about the offense, man? You run a little play action. I, I can just tell you, third and long as a pass rusher, I'm going to get the quarterback. I don't care about the play action. I'm not biting on it, and neither did the defense. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Coastal Carolina has it. The shot to clear offense headed back to the field. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. And instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots and make those big plays. Facing a third down and short from the 26. The lone back's got it. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. In their own territory, no problem. Fourth and inches, and they'll go for it. Still running at the 40. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. And they get him out of bounds after an explosive run, just chewing up yardage along the way. They just changed the dynamic of this possession in a heartbeat, and now it's first and ten from inside the red zone. Here's the handoff. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Looking for space. It's Bennett. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. The shot that clears, racing to the line in the hurry up. Third down coming up. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, go to Carolina. And I like the running back's vision. He sees the hole, explodes through it. He knows where the goal line is. Personal gets in the end zone, Nothing gets six. Kick. Well, you could draw a line in the middle, and he would have hit that thing. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team on the field, he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. Not going to get a return here. They'll bring it out to the 25 as the kickoff sails through the back of the end zone. Here comes the offense on first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Finds Zach Grease, and he's got four out to the 29. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Keep it on the ground. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. Will they keep it on the ground again? You're on third down. They'll try to run for it. That ought to be enough to move the chains and give Georgia Southern a first down. 
Offenses that are great on third downs, what do they do most of the time? They keep it in manageable situations where they're not predictable, not just dropping back to pass. They do it here on third and short. They convert. This offense has been so efficient on third downs all throughout this season. Right back to him on the ground. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Grabbed behind the line. It's Burgess. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. He makes the connection. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a big game. Trying to wear down this defense. The seventh play of the drive. It's third and one. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play. Able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. And they'll get off one more play before the end of the quarter. Running to the left. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. That's the end of the period, and Coastal Carolina has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. They'll try the run. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. and takes it in. Touchdown, Coastal! This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top-10 offense. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the returner will be brought down. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to that they stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground covered. Pick up the first. On third and short, the power run here. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. And the Eagles in the hurry up. They're going to ride this running back. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Looking for space. It's Arnold. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anymore. Williams will pass. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Eagles are on the move. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. 
He'll do it himself. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. On second down, wants to throw it. Got his man. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Georgia Southern about to snap it on another first and ten. And that's a first down for the offense. Touch pass on the run. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. This offense has a lot of different ways they can attack you, and you're going to see the entire playbook at work in this game. Throwing it, running it, and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter. Great job. What a great play by the linebacker. You talk about filling a hole. Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit out, sir. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Some much-needed life for this offense as they try to cut away at this lead. No doubt. Needed something to go right. If you're down, you've got to make plays. you got to get your team back in it. Great start. Keep chipping away. And that kick was perfectly down the middle. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points together, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put it on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. And the shot to clears want to pick up the tempo. On the ground, it's Washington. Dances away again. And there they go again with another huge gain on the ground. He's finally run out of bounds. They'll snap it from the 34 on first and 10. They go to the ground. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll give it to the back. Got enough for the first. And he's bounced out of bounds, but not before a very productive pickup. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Second and goal for this offense. Tries again to get it in. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, shot to clear. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. And the ball is loose on the return. Grabbed by the kicking team. And they'll drag him down after a good return. This offense is about to face the one thing that can stop it. Time expiring in the first half. Before then, they can get another score. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Trying to break the plane on second and goal. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Trying to punch it in. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, go for Carolina! Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. First they run. score uh, fast. The they don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defense all year long. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Offense getting set for first down. Williams looking for a man. Fires to the wideout. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Second and 10 after the previous play. 
He's looking to throw. Fires left. And he dropped it. Just didn't look the thing all the way in. Well, I don't know if the big fella got freaked out because he was so wide open on that play, but that is a catch he has got to make for his quarterback. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. Holds it in and looking upfield. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stops. Offense set on first down. Running to the left. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. The shot to clear is moving quickly to the line. To the ground with the back. Oh, what a move! Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. Gonna run it. It's Washington. Makes it past the marker. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And the shot to clear is with the first and ten. The give to the single back. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Hold it. Hold it. Up and up and We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Line gets set, first down. Back to throw, it's Vasco. Spits it out to the back. It is complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. And that's why these guys played defense. If that were an offensive player or receiver, that would have easily have been a catch. Come on, man. You've got to catch that and make that a fit. Dumps it to the back. This one's complete. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. And that's another shot. Running back goes in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And he'll be brought down. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Quarterback sneak trying to get a push. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Searching forward on the sneak. Quarterback sneaks it forward and into the end zone for a touchdown. Third down and goal. I want the touchdown. Is it predictable? Do I know he's going under center? Do I know he's going to run a quarterback sneak? Yeah, but guess what? It's still so hard to stop. That's why you see it so much down here in the red zone, especially in situations like this in third and goal when you need it. Touchdown for the offense. Here he comes from inside his own five. They make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. What could go wrong did in the first half, and they start this third quarter at the bottom of the mountain. Man, that was bad. That was a frying pan to the head. That was a TKO. It was awful in the first half. Flush it. I got to start doing something right. I got to find some positives. I get the ball first to start this possession, try to put a scoring drive together. The only thing you can do at this point offensively is just make sure your best players are touching the football as often as possible. You recruited these guys, you got guys out of the portal, you put your faith in them to make plays. This is a time to go out and do it. Keeps it himself and gets the first. Turns it on at midfield. He's finally 
he stopped, but a big play there with his feet as he moves those sticks. They had hoped to come up with explosive plays, and they used one there to set him up inside the 30, first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Tight end finds a soft spot. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Georgia Southern really efficient on offense. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Williams will pass. It's caught. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. It's good. Let's not say they cut into the deficit with that field goal. Maybe just you know, tweaked a little bit of their way with their fingers. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Coastal Carolina has it. The Chanticleer offense headed back to the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute it. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Unloads to the wideout. That is just a sideline play. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. The shot the clears have it with a first and 10. And obviously, if you're going to be in the discussion for the Heisman Trophy, you got to be putting out big stat games week in, week out. He's been doing it all season long and obviously had over 100 rushing yards his last time out. He's doing it again here today in a game where a lot of Heisman Trophy voters, they're watching this one. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. After coming up with back-to-back -back explosive plays, here they are, first and goal. Just trying to power it ahead. They pick up five. Ball spotted at the 12. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Touchdown, Coastal! And the beatdown has ensued. Have yourself a day, young fella. You know why they handed him the ball a lot? Because he did that. That's his fourth trip to Pater. This dude has shown you a little bit of everything. What a great back. And four touchdowns on the day. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tapped. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You gotta get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Got the first down and more. And he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the holy, officials holy, have called. Holy, holy, holy. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll go to the ground. Nifty little dance step. Good pick up on the ground there. Give him five to the 16-yard line. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more. 
impressive. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. If you like old-fashioned, grinded-up, run-over-em football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive just trying to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. They're getting this guy lathered up. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. And this guy's going to have to come through for you in this game. He picks up another first down, but he's your Heisman contender. He's the best player on your football team, and he's a guy that's just going to have to touch the ball a lot in this game if you're going to win. They go right back to their man on second and goal. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They've converted third downs all day long, and now... Touchdown! Shot to clear! And the pummeling has started. Getting set for the point after. And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. He'll start the return inside his five. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They try to pop a run on the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're about to wear this puncher out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. They'll run the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn up field for a big game. Coastal Carolina has it. The shot to clear offense headed back to the field. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for me. It's to be physically pounded. The run is coming. You know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano -y mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop it. Inside the 30 at the 29, it's a first down. But we know this guy is in contention right now for the Heisman Trophy. And this late in the year, if you're going to bring that home, you've got to put up big stat games, right? Had over 100 rushing yards his last time out. He's doing it again today. He is turning it on late this season. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. That's the end of the period, and Coastal Carolina has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. And the shot to Clears will snap it on first and ten. Got enough space! Touchdown, Coastal Carolina! And the route is on. That's what finishing the deal looks like. Build the lead in the fourth quarter and close in on 11 straight victories. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. He'll start this drive firing. Woodermack's trolling away from Heat. Trying to escape and get it himself. 
Good little pickup there as he saw some daylight and got what he could. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Dorsey. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. They'll throw it on first down. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Offense gets set for second down. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. And the Eagles are moving quickly down the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. Makes the catch. It's Dorsey. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. He wants to throw. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but... They're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. They've moved it to the 19, first and 10. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Fires into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Touchdown, Eagles! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll call for the fair catch here. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do, build the lead. Now Palmer is a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now in the same way. The shot that clears will hustle through the line. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Looking for a productive play on first down. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. Now on second down. Single back formation, and they give it to him. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. A run to the right. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. One for two on fourth down attempts so far, and we will get a third attempt here. Still on his feet at the 45. Oh, look out, there he goes. And after gobbling up some serious yardage and showing off those wheels, he's finally out of bounds. The huge play got him on the porch, but now they got a kick in the door. They'll try to run it in. Touchdown, Coastal! And the punishment has been extended. You can see it on the sideline. They built a comfortable fourth quarter lead, and they know they're going to go 11-0.
points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns in the league. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. It's a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. But you have to find a way to create some hesitation on defense when you're selling the draw play, and they just didn't do it well enough there. Yeah, it's got to be the offensive line and the quarterback and the running back. They all have to work together to, to show pass, pass set up front, act like it's a throw for the quarterback, not rush it. The defense clearly not fully got in the backfield, got the tackle for a loss. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle with Sanders. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. The Eagles come to the line with a new set of downs. Going up top on first down. Takes the easy completion. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse. Losing yardage on that play. Line getting set on second down. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Using that running game to bludge and forward. He's got four down to the 35. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Takes a hit as he fires. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. And these guys have been busy sixth punt of the day. And the punt goes out of bounds. We'll see where the officials spot it, but they certainly gave him no opportunity for a return. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Makes a man miss. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. They'll ride the hot hand. Running with power. Got enough for the first. And they get him out of bounds, but not before a sizable pickup on that one. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. Running through contact. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Looking for a crease. It's Washington. Across the 25, he's got room. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add their total. And how about this squad, man? Looking good again. Like, I feel like we say this week in and week out. Just continuing to remain undefeated. Whatever it takes, offense, defense, special teams, they have been a good unit, and that's why their ranking is so high. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. This has been an old-fashioned fanny paddling, David. I mean, they've just got taken behind the woodshed. There's nothing to say. This has been an absolute beatdown. Dominated from the start, Jesse, to almost the finish now. They have done nothing right. Everyone's going to have to have a real hard look at themselves, I think, this week after watching the film and in practice. And they just got to take accountability. They have to understand, man for man in this offense, they've got to do a better job next time they're on the field. On second down, he'll fire. Outside the pocket, lets it go. And that one's incomplete. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of... And that ball is intercepted at the goal line. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Power football with the run. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. They'll leave it with him. 
He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Gonna run it. It's Bennett. That's the 45 on his way. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And, and I think the biggest thing for this young man is we've seen him be so great all throughout the season. How do you finish? And how do you finish decides if you win that big trophy at the end of the year. He's in the Heisman running late in the season. I bet you he'll get a lot of touches today. Just on the edge of the red zone. First and 10 from the 21. And after a nice game, the runner just scoops out of bounds. Personal foul. Personal foul. Unnecessary, Unnecessary run. Run. Defense. Defense. So they'll decline the penalty, please, with the results of that last play. The offense lining up for a first down play. The give to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. The offense uses the timeout. 20 ticks remaining. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end. And we have breaking news. They score yet another touchdown. Man, you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. And right down the middle. After scoring that touchdown, they'll try to get it right back with an onside kick. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. Well, here in the fourth quarter, they were obviously expecting onside kick. They got their hands team on the field. They're able to jump on the ball and make sure they get possession. Trying to start the drive with a pass. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Second and ten here. Now the play fake. Let's it fly deep down. And that one is picked off in the end zone. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one dimensional. Well, when they're trailing by this much late in the game, they're one dimensional. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the football. Fires the pass. Intercepted. Trying to take it back. And he's down, and this game will end on a turnover. Just complete and utter dominance in this one. Outplayed their opponent and took care of business. Yeah, total domination in all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, and special teams. This team came ready to play, and man, it was pedaled to the metal right from the opening kickoff. And that's how you like it. Forget the close games, forget the heartbreakers, the, oh, this play could decide it. Just frying pan meat face, ball game over.